guys, and welcome back to another Yumi Twins unboxing. Uh, we're here in the month of January. Uh, I'm Momiji, and I have... Shane. Yay! Hi. <laughs> so I want to apologize uh, in advance because we didn't get the December box because of snafu with the mail. We're hoping to get it um, soon, <laughs> uh, but we're still waiting back to hear from the Tokyo Treat box people. Um, so if we do put up a, a video of that, it'll be a little late, obviously. Go on, man, go on, man. <laughs> go on, man, go on, Um, so let's get to it. So, new box, first of all. I mean, it's, you know, a lot cleaner, um, less pictures on it this time. Yeah, open it now. Ooh, it's blue on the inside. Open. Yay, you made twins. Okay. Ah. Oh, I already see something. Yay. No, you're not supposed to see that. Too late. I've seen it. Well, you really messed up the camera. I really did. I apologize again. Come in, come in. But before we do that. Oh, yes. Hey. <laughs> Box. <laughs> the book. Ooh. You May Twins, January. What's the... Ooh. Yay. Happy New Year. Oh, and they're wearing oh, yukatas. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. They are. <laughs> do you know what a yukata is? That thing. Yes. Good job. All right. Hey. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I have to look at is. is no. Nope. But yes. No. Nope. Something else. Something else. Okay. Yes, look at that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, it's a bear. <laughs> Actually, this looks like the um, similar to the bears that were on the tea, um, the tea bags. The, that we got the last Darjeeling time. tea. Yes. And it is a Villa Kuma? Yes. And this is gonna be very loud, so I'm just gonna try and open it. Uh just open it off screen. I will do that. <laughs> so it's a cute little plastic dispenser. It's real big too. Holy crap. So this is the Real Akuma shampoo bottle. Ooh. Why not start the new year by transferring your favorite shampoo into the Super Kawaii Real Akuma shampoo bottle? The addition of this shampoo bottle will raise the cute factor of any bathroom in an instant. It will. Scientifically proven. Whether you start your day with a shower or end it with a hot bath, this Real Akuma shampoo bottle will bring a smile to your face. Sure. Just trying to figure out how it would actually dispense the shampoo because it's not a push button. Or it will be. You probably gotta turn it and pop it goes. Aha! Okay, that makes more sense now. Yay! Hey, it does. Awesome. I haven't gotten one of these ever, so <laughs> yay! It's a cute thing. So far, so good in the new year. Okay, you can touch the Sailor Moon. Yay, thing. Sailor Moon thing! Sailor Moon plushie. Oh my god, so happy. And Sailor Moon isn't that one your favorite? Uh, well, she's not my favorite, but she's definitely not the one I hate the most. Is that Neptune? No, I like Neptune. Mars? No. Pluto? No. One of the other ones. Like mm -hmm. like the odd ones. Um, not the main five. Yes. Okay, well, uh, so what's what's the not main five? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ju no, Jupiter's one of them. Jupiter's the main five. Uranus? Nope. Um, Alpha Centauri? No such sailor. No such sailor? No. Uh, is there a sailor, sailor Beetlejuice? No. Oh. Uh, um. Uh-oh. Maybe. Oh, is it the, the annoying kid sister? Yes. Yes! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Actually, know what, sa what sailor is she. Chibi Moon? Chibi Moon. Yeah. And she's technically her daughter. <laughs> sailor Kruith Kruithni. Say what now? Sailor Kruithni? Kruithni is not a word. Yeah, it is. Okay, but I, not in Sailor Senshi. No, no, but it's it's the name of the Sailor. second moon that oh. Earth supposedly has that doesn't really have that they've been debating on for a while. I was unaware of that. It was on an episode of QI. I don't think I saw that episode. Oh, too bad. It's a good episode. I agree. I'm QI also mispronouncing awesome. it because they I later this, say that they said it wrong, but anyways. Okay. All right, so she's awesome. I can't take the plastic off without technically... Well, I could do it, I suppose. There we go. I was worried about the... the and the I tag. tore a hole in her head. Oh, that would have sucked. Yeah. 
That is so cool. They did a really good job on this one, actually. Yeah. Yay. Awesome. All right. Uh, so the entry, well, I mean, like, we have to read that. Sarah <laughs> Plushy, you asked for it, we got it. With much effort, we were finally able to procure these popular Sailor Moon plushies that are loved by women of all ages. You'll either find Sailor Mercury, Sailor Moon, Sailor Jupiter, I... Sailor Mars, or Sailor Chibi Moon in your oh. journey. <laughs> Which of the five adorable work. characters did you get? Uh, not the one that she hates, thank goodness. Yay! Would have preferred Jupiter, <clears throat> but Sailor Moon is definitely a good second. Is Jupiter your favorite? Yes, of the inner ones. Why is she your favorite? I don't know. I just really enjoyed her story arcs okay. and her personality, I guess, because she was really protective. Okay. Stay. And... No, I want you. Whatever you are. Another bear thing. <laughs> um... I need to script. Oh, that's not going to be helpful. That's all in Japanese. Um, maybe some kind of weird confectionery? I'm going to guess, considering it's sealed. Yes. It's got the New Year's. I guess they're New Year's bears and chickens. And fans. And. Oops. I have no idea what this is. All right. <clears throat> so this is the real Akuma New Year mochi. Mm. Ever wondered about some Japanese New Year traditions? Now you can experience one of the traditions with this adorable real Akuma New Year mochi. This real Akuma item not only makes a cute decoration, but it's also edible. Ah, I was right. Best of all, after eating the mochi, you are still left with a cute real Akuma minifigure. To find out more, read on to the next page. Hmm. Uh, Can you possibly snag something from my... No. <laughs> nope. Uh, I guess I will open it, yes. Hmm? I was just debating on whether I wanted to open it, because oh, then I'm like, then I have sure. to eat it. I'm like, oh. Start 2017 in a kawaii Japanese style with a beautiful New Year mochi. In Japan, there's a tradition of placing a special New Year mochi on a Shinto star or a decorated alcove. It is it's traditionally broken and eaten on the second weekend of January. Not only does this real Akuma New Year mochi make an adorable ornament, it's also edible. We knew that already. Yes. Uh, to find the mochi, peel back the bottom and you'll find two round mochis inside the cat casing. Just toast them in a toaster oven for two to three minutes or use a nonstick frying pan to bake your mochis. Once the mochis puff up or has a slightly brown color to it, it's done. Mm. Once done, add a dab of soy sauce or any other condiment that goes well with rice to enjoy. Mochis are made of rice and don't have much flavor to them, so you can add sweet or savory flavoring and they'll be good. Mochis have an extremely chewy and glutinous texture, so remember to take small bites. Well, yeah, so there's the two pieces. Well, the one. Mochi, mochi. The second piece of mochi. Tastiness. It's good until, well, it says 2017, so I'm hoping. And the little ornament with the Kuma Bear in it on it. Yeah. It looks like he has a basketball. Is that a basketball? No, it's some kind of fruit. That is so cute. And put the mochi back in there. Because I don't have, a, well, no, I don't have a toaster oven anymore. You don't have a toaster oven? I have any toaster oven. I gave it to my mom. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, you can light, light, fry, pan fry it, too. I could, yeah. Ooh, 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 yeah. This. This is Disney? Well, that's what it says. Yeah. Zoom Zoom? Huh. They've got one humanoid character on here, and that's it. Oh, wait. No, maybe two. Maybe. Nope. That's Buzz Lightyear. So they have Alice. Buzz Lightyear's humanoid. Yeah, but he's a toy. Right. It's different. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So Do technically, you mean human characters? Yes, I guess I meant okay. human is what I meant. I mean, technically, yeah. they're all humanoid except for Pluto. True. Hmm. Okay. Well, we've got the Monsters Inc. ones as well. That's cute. All right. While you read, I will open this off camera. Ooh. All right. So, Tum Tum 
for Tsum Tsum Cosmetic Pouch. Oh, good. A new year, new characters. Originally released only in Japan, Tsum Tsum has now taken the world by a storm with their sheer cuteness. This month, for the first time, Tsum Tsum makes an appearance in your box in a way of a cosmetic pouch. Worry not. These cute cosmetic pouches are Japan licensed are Japan licensed items, so you won't find it anywhere else. Ooh. Which of the 12 cute designs did you get? Well, obviously Disney, but what other options were there? Well, uh, there's Disney, Disney, Disney. They're all Disney. Okay. They're just different. Like, one is green and focuses on the alien guy. Hmm. Uh, one seems to focus more on Mickey. Hmm. Uh, yours is pink. There's or some red, blue yeah. ones. There's a... Yeah, no, sorry, that one's red. Yeah. Uh, there's a pink one. Yeah, there's just all sorts of different colors hmm. and different, like, layouts, but they're all basically the same thing. But is that actually one of the Warner... I can't, it looks like one of the Warner Brothers, sort of, kind of, in a cutesy way. This here? Yeah. Yeah, it does look like the Pro Warner Brother or the Warner Sister. Yeah. <clears throat> like, Yakko, Wacko, or Dot, but, I mean... That's Warner Brothers, not Disney. Which is why I was like, it's probably not, but it looks like it. Yeah, I don't know uh, who that would be. On. Unless, it, oh, you know, that's probably Goofy. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I mean, uh, sure? That's the only thing I can think of. Hmm. I'm really curious now. I have no idea what that is. Huh, I'll have to see if I can find some kind Cause, of... Because, I mean, you've got, you know, Minnie, Mickey, Donald, Daisy... Dumbo, uh, I'm guessing that's Tigger, Pluto, uh, that's Daffy and Daisy again. Donald. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Donald and D that's, uh, Lilo. Yeah, there's, uh, um... Chip and Dale. Yep. I have... I'm thinking the bear from Toy Story? Oh, or the pig. Maybe? Or the pig, oh yeah, maybe Winnie the pig. Winnie the Pooh, and that's then... Minnie's back end. <laughs> Alice. Oh, Alice, yeah. And um, the and one a, from Monsters, Inc. And a piece of candy. And a piece of candy. Oh, right. Is it, t is it Tully? Sully? Sully. S okay. Or yeah. Who yeah, and Mike was the one-eyed guy, right? Mike Wazowski, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sully. Yeah, pretty good. I think it's, yeah, it was pretty much the same thing. Just kind of, yeah, with some extra Disney stuff on it. Ooh. Yeah. Based on Winnie the Pooh. Okay. So, yeah. That's... Kind of cute. It's all vinyl-y and stuff. And, but I mean, you can fit more than just makeup in here if you really wanted to. But it's a makeup bag. But it is a makeup bag. So cosmetic pouch only. Eh, what this? What are you? Oh, your socks, aren't you? Oh, God. <laughs> Those are cute. Uh, fantasy theater? These may not fit me. Why not? Well, I don't know. Size, just a size 22, 24 centimeters. I don't know. They look... They seem very small. Well, you can... I don't know. So that's the Sanrio Cozy Sock. Ooh. Keep your feet warm and cozy <gasps> with these adorable Sanrio socks. January's box features one of six cute Sanrio designs. Whether you wear these outside to brave the cold weather or at night to keep your toes cozy in bed, <laughs> these cute designs are sure to keep you smiling. Did you get your favorite character design? I'm gonna say maybe... I don't know a lot of Sanrio characters. Um, well, the only one I know is Hello Kitty. Yeah. And one of these looks like French Pikachu. <laughs> I think I see which one you mean. Whoop. French Pikachu. <laughs> okay, given the choices, I think I like the one I got. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> so, yeah. I definitely like that the... the Getting the pink-haired and blue-haired kids, whoever they are. Hmm. Pinky and bluey. Sure. I think there is nothing else. Wow. Okay, that was pretty quick, actually. Well, there are some big items. And I True. Mean, yeah. You can eat this thing. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing's edible, not just well, the mochi. Not, no. Yeah. That's styrofoam. No. Yeah. I thought it's edible. It said it was edible. This part, the mochi is edible. I think Not, this, I want to eat the styrofoam. You want to eat the styrofoam? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the styrofoam's not edible. Like I said, it's not edible. But it said the whole thing was edible. Except the bear. Uh-huh. What? 
Yeah, so definitely my favorite part is the, the Sailor Moon plushie. I think followed next by the mochi and the socks, because they're cute socks, really. Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Moving it back. Moving it help. back a bit, yeah. I know. I'm horrible at this. <laughs> and the mochi was pretty awesome. Um, I mean, this seems a little cheap, but it is really cute and f fairly sizable. Actually, that's... That's a decent plastic bottle. To be perfectly mm. honest, it doesn't feel cheap. You know, like it's solid. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have a really crappy seam. Yeah. Okay. And the stem goes right to the bottom. You can't really tell, but so you're gonna get all the good stuff out when you pump, pump, pump. <laughs> So yeah, that was uh, January's Yume Twins box. All in all, I re- what are you doing? <laughs> all in all, I really liked it. And um, join us next time when we may have the December box. Maybe it'll be February. You never know. Bye! Bye.